next coaster trip is underway. At the end of my Smoky Mountain Alpine coaster vlog that I did last week, you may have seen that I made a note saying that my original plan to do some parks in Pennsylvania as well as some flights to adventure have been postponed due to the wildfires in Canada. And this alternate trip that I'm doing includes Fun Spot Atlanta, Six Flags Over Georgia, Carowinds, Dollywood, and Holiday World. And the first part of that trip, I said it was going to be Fun Spot Atlanta, which is where I'm at right now. And I cannot wait to ride Air Force One, which is that beast of an RMC way out there. And I've heard this is one of the best RMCs out there. So I'm really excited to see if it's just as good as everyone says it is. And as of now, I think Twisted Cyclone is my favorite coaster in the state of Georgia, but Air Force One has a great shot at topping it. And so I can't wait to go over there, get a couple rides in on that, and also see how Hurricane, which you can kind of see through the trees over there, how that holds up to the other hurricane I did on the spot in We only got like two hours here because the park closes at 10, and the traffic here was horrendous. So I would have been here like quite a bit ago. Due to the traffic, I got here way too late, and so I only have two hours, so it's park closing. So I'm gonna be on a bit of a time crunch, but I'm gonna try and get quite a few rides on Air Force One and. Uh, yeah, see how good this uh, RMC is. So let's go inside and have a good couple hours. We are it. And as you can expect, I'm heading straight to Air Force One. And in those shots you guys just saw, it looks like it's absolutely flying. So I am really excited for this one. I think that's a very strong chance of being a top three RMC for me. Now, where exactly? I think if it's going to be anywhere in the top three, it's going to be number three because I don't see it being Lightning Rod. Iron Quasi, I highly doubt it. And then maybe you could top Outlaw Run for number three. But I'll judge it once I ride it. So I'm just going to go over the ride Air Force One first thing and see how it runs because this thing is high on my bucket list. As we're open here in our rave reviews at the beginning, I'm excited. So let's go see how this thing holds up to other RMTs. one what a beast of a ride that is dead front row left side that's a top three rmc for me and i have it ranked third i have it below iron quasi and lightning rod which i kind of predicted but still that was just insane don't even get me started on the freaking arcade roll what in the world was that that literally was like rmc's version of the mosasaurus roll oh my word that was absolutely incredible i would like to get one more ride on it in the back but we have like about an hour or so until closing and i still have two more credits here to get so i'm gonna go get all those and then I'll come back and get another ride on Air Force One if I can. So now I'm gonna go over and check out Hurricane and see how that ride is. Cause I wanna compare it to the other Hurricane in Fox Pocket Simi. Also, the Outer Bank did something on this ride. Steel Vengeance's Outer Bank did nothing for me and Iron Glasses wasn't much better. This was the best one by far. Doesn't need to be larger than anything, but it's fantastic. Great moment of air time. So yeah, pretty solid. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm gonna ask. Not the most enjoyable ride there. It was a lot jankier than the one at uh, Fun Spot Kissimmee. And I actually like that one a little bit better than this one. But I mean, it wasn't a bad ride. Like, it was still decently enjoyable. I mean, there's one airtime pop towards the end that, like, I got standing airtime. It was insane. But it's nowhere near Air Force One for me. Like, yeah, definitely the weakest on the two coasts really far. And I would even, de I would definitely think some of the coasters are six flags over Georgia over this. So now I'm going to go over and ride one of my favorite skinny coasters called because we'll flash play I need here. And then it'll be time to get some uh, more shots of the Air Force One, maybe driving another round in the back row. So, yeah, there you guys see it going there. So, let's go take a ride on this. Stay low! <laughs> coaster that I've ridden and I was in the back of the train which I was gonna ride up front but uh there was already someone in the front row and they are actually on the prior train but they did not get off for whatever reason so I never got to ride up front which if I'm not gonna be able to ride the front at least I would want to ride the back so I was able to get the very back row and it was definitely a bit janky for a kitty coaster but it was still a solid ride nonetheless I guess you could say and now I'm gonna go over and ride Air Force One once or maybe twice more depending on how long that line is and uh Turn out they wrote up the line before closing, so I would like to do one more in the back, or one in the back, and then maybe try one more in the front, because I was really impressed with my front row ride. So let's go try the back row and see how it runs compared to the front. Just took a back row ride on Air Force One to finish my night, and I know that a lot of RMCs people tend to like better in the back. I personally think this one's better in the front, mainly because the sense of speed is better, and I prefer speed over airtime generally. And I thought the airtime was equal in both rows, so therefore I prefer the front slightly. But I can understand why people would prefer the back row. And uh, not gonna be the last train of the night. There's like that one going up right now. Like there's one more in the station, so I'm gonna get some shots of this uh, next few trains here. So let's do that. My final ride count for the day here at Fun Spot Atlanta was three on the kitty coaster, and I say three because I count each lap as a separate ride, and it went around three times. Two on Air Force One and one on Hurricane. Overall, this park was a really solid time, and uh, I definitely wish I had more time here because I didn't get anywhere near enough Air Force One rides. I was lucky to get two, I feel like, because the operations were not the best. But overall, it was really solid. And I will be riding another RMC that is very similar to it. It's also in the same state tomorrow. And in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about, that brings us to the point where my next vlog is. And that is going to be from Six Flags over Georgia. So stay tuned for that. And before we click off this video, please make sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. And be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video. Be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 500 subscribers by this summer, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take when I visit this park. So be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you later.